Merry Christmas, boys and girls, men, women, and children of all ages. I have got my Christmas present early and got it hooked up and finally working. Testing it out just now. It seems to be performing flawlessly between the two tracks. I figured I'd try it out with a line L first, conventional, before I would uh, blow up one of my DCS engines. But it appears we have done our calculations right. And the master Steve Brennison had wired it beautiful for me. You know, for 20 more dollars, I cannot do the job he did. Flawlessly. Every time it's performing. From this track to that one. So these two outside lines will probably be my main DCS lines because it's my bigger engines and this is my 088 and 072 loops. But so far, every time she just switches. Yep. Pretty happy with that. I've got that block isolated now for the DCS signal so it doesn't confuse the data packets for the two tracks. So that's all one block. Which limits me, or it might, but I don't know, when we get to that part, we'll figure it out. But I know you do need to have it isolated so the, you don't have data packets colliding. Oh yeah, man. It's running like a dream. It is a dream. That is the masterpiece of all switches. In the old gauge world. It might cost as much as a car payment, but it's a work of art. It's worth it. Look at that thing, man. It's just... It's beautiful. Look at that. Flawless. Just... No hesitation whatsoever. From track to track. Now let's hope the big boys and stuff run through there the same. They will. If not, Steve will adjust it for me. That's the great thing about him is you get the lifetime warranty on it. I don't have any motors on it yet. Cause uh it's a hundred bucks cheaper without the motors. And I'm pretty sure I want to put tortoises on them. But who knows, we might put the command control. Shit, I have to have something to do besides press buttons, you know? Control the switches by hand. I saw a neat invention one guy did. He had the switch and the throw and he had a little man standing there that would go back and forth. It was cool. Of course I need four of them here. But yeah, 
it's just so smooth. It doesn't even hesitate. Nowhere. Flawless. He's perfected it. You've ever thought about buying one of these? I strongly urge you to indulge yourself and do it. My ideal thing is to have two of them. <laughs> but let's not get greedy here. It's the time of giving. Not only receiving. Remember that. It is better to give than receive. But I gave this to myself. Well, I felt good about that. <laughs> I asked my wife for it. And it didn't seem like she was going to do it. Imagine that. So that's what's going on today, December 16th, 2018, in the year of our Lord. at MTH Lionel for Less. I've got these two ovals completely screwed down. And let me tell you, there is a learning curve to laying this cross back to get it right. I figure by the time I put the, the next layout up, I should be pretty good at it. The problem comes when you go to put the fitter tracks in. Once you cut it, it can come apart pretty easy on you. If you don't use any fitters, you won't have any problems at all. But if you need to use fitters, you all have to uh, give it a couple tries. Because you might not get it the first time. But man, I'm happy with that. Look at that. It's just one for another. Woohoo! I mean, you know, that makes a statement on the way out to me. It's just thing is, I've always loved it. I used to have one, and I sold it, and I really regretted it. So now I work more and sell less. That seems to be the ticket there. Took me a while to get happy at a truck company, but I think I finally am. Every time it just goes one through without any problem. So I'm using two districts over here for that. As you can see the track that it goes on. The amps and then the other one. See how it drops and splits. It's got a break into. Everything's got its break into it. But yeah, Steve's got these. This is a masterpiece. I mean, out of all the fine switches that he does produce, to me, this is the this is the top of the line thing now. They're not cheap, they're guaranteed for life. 
And like I said, it really makes a statement on the way out to me anyway. How many times has that went by? Ten? A hundred or something since I filmed this? I'm painting while, so I got a little buzz going in the paint. Painting some holiday stuff for the wifey. You can paint so many trains, but you can't paint this thing. I said, why don't you paint it? Learn, learn a hobby. She's got a hobby. It's yelling at me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright boys and girls Merry Christmas I'll see you probably once Before Christmas again As the next thing to go up Will be A line of A EL line of Super O Right there Will be elevated Then the next line will be the 064 and it'll be a little bit above that one. So you'll be able to see all the trains. They won't be hidden. They'll gradually go up. Alright, thank you for tuning in. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Steve Brunson. For designing such a beautiful masterpiece. Thank all you guys for watching. Merry Christmas. I gotta put the F3s together. Can't go through Christmas without saying a face. They're next. Can I do it? Hmm? And I've had nothing else under the tree but some Santa Fe's. Yeah. Alright everybody, thank you. This is Ken at MTH Lionel for Lust. Have a great day. God bless.